Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing the new CSB Experiencing God Bible. Let's do this! Alright, there it is, take the paper! This looks like it's the hardcover edition, I'm going to take the box. What I'm sensing is this is not a study Bible, and it's not necessarily a devotional Bible, but it's kind of like a hybrid of the two. There's a lot so a few weeks ago, I started seeing people post about this Bible called the Experiencing God Bible. It's a CSB Bible from Holman, and a couple people posted pictures of it, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I actually, one day, I remember looking it up in my phone, and I thought I needed to look into that Bible, and then the tab got deleted on my phone, and I forgot about it. But then... Just a couple weeks ago, I saw a post from 2K Denmark. I talk about them a lot on my channel. They're a company from Denmark who does Bible um, typesetting and typeface designs. Really, really well-known company. They do an incredible job. And so on their Facebook page, they posted about receiving some copies of the Experiencing God Bible, and they shared more about the process that they went through of designing the inside of it. And it gave a closer look at the inside of the Bible. And I was like, this Bible looks really great. Like in these photos, it looked really cool. So I called up my friends at home and I said, hey, would you send me a copy of that so I can unbox it and review it? That's what I have right here. I've really seen like a couple of Facebook posts and that's all I really know about this Bible. I'm assuming that it's based on the book, Experiencing God, but we will find out. Are you ready? I got my B cam right here. What's up? Let's do this. All right. You know, a funny story. The other day, a box showed up, and Becca was like, hey, you got a Bible, and I, it was this box that had both of our names on it. I was like, who sent me and Becca a Bible? Then I opened it, and it was like, somebody sent us a gag gift from Amazon or something like that. It was, it was a game. It was like a joke, and I was like really disappointed that it wasn't a Bible. So anyway, uh, opening this up. There it is. Take the paper. Here we go. There you go. Experiencing... God Bible. All right. This looks like it's the hardcover edition. I'm going to take the box. Okay, there's a there's a, stool, a bench over there, that, like the one I'm sitting on, and the, the box landed on it, and it balanced perfectly for a split second, and then it fell off. That would have been cool. I would have had to take the B-cam rogue to show you that, had it stayed up there. Okay, Experiencing God Bible, Knowing and Doing the Will of God. So there's the cover of it. Really nice design. Down there, knowing and experiencing the will of God. See, it says Christian Standard Bible up there. There's the spine. A lot of information on the back. Because I don't know much about this Bible, I'm going to take a second. I'm just going to kind of... The Experiencing God Bible invites you to know and experience God personally. In this revised and updated edition, so maybe they've had this before, based on the best-selling Experiencing God book and Bible study, you'll be encouraged to focus on the major purpose of Bible reading, listening to God speak. Interesting. So it's got book introductions that talk about key themes, prompts for encountering God, decisions awaiting you, crisis of belief, God-focused themes, preparing to meet God, questions, did you notice questions, design icons on every page, brief articles, biographies of biblical characters, wide margins so you can write things down, book conclusions, not just introductions, but book conclusions, full-color design elements, Single column layout, words of Christ in red, nine and a half point typeface, a Smythe's own binding, a concordance, full color map. This looks really, okay, the, 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 the thing that I noticed of this Bible in the photos was the inside. So let's just kind of open this up. Now I'm going to take a look in here. There it just repeats all the different features. It's kind of got this like multicolored flame theme from the cover. See that on the inside? That's cool. That's the presentation page. This looks really, really nice. Copyright page, 2022 Holman Bibles, the 2020 CSP text. There's a bunch of different styles, mostly leather, tuck, leather touch and then this hardcover edition designed by 2K Denmark using the Bible Serif. So the Bible Serif is a typeface that they have for making Bibles. Table of contents, alphabetical. Here's a foreword from Henry Blackaby, the author of Experiencing God, the book. And then what is Experiencing God? So it's kind of an introduction to the Bible. So here's that flame theme down here. There you see like the kind of pattern that they go through. God working all the way through this pattern of the text and our process of being on mission with God. So there's some different key themes how you use this Bible. So this is going to be, there's a lot going on here. So there's a, there's a few different things happening here 
that you're going to want to kind of figure it out. So I, what I'm sensing is that this is not a study Bible, and it's not necessarily a devotional Bible, but it's kind of like a hybrid of the two. There's a lot of study elements. There's a lot of devotional elements. There's a lot of uh, reflective elements, but it's got, it's, this is really nice. There's a, a features page here. Look at that. Really well designed. It's kind of showing you all of the different features that you're going to find throughout this Bible, numbering them off. So before you sit down and start using it, um, it's got CSB footnotes, I see. Again, wide margins, special icons, and then all these prompts throughout the book. Okay, intro to the Christian Standard Bible, pretty typical stuff, commonly used abbreviations. Okay, so let's just see Genesis, an intro to Genesis, again, full color. Just a one-page intro, so here you go. One-page intro, kind of the main highlights of Genesis, and then... When you get into the text, I really love the look of this single column with these colorful boxes. See that? So single column text. And then this box up here, the green one, is God's plan. The orangish, yellowish box over here, it says, did you notice? So it's all these different questions in there. Did you notice these things while you were reading the text? I, I like this a lot. It's very... Um, it's like, hey, read the Bible, but also dig a little deeper. Ask yourself a few questions. Here's a character profile of Adam and Eve there on the bottom part of the fourth page of the Bible. So you get a little bit more in-depth, kind of focused look at them. Start at, it talks about how the name Adam means mankind in Hebrew. I like that. Different topics. This is great. It's very easy to read. What did I say? It was a nine and a half point typeface? Yeah. It's got some, the paper feels really nice. The print is nice and crisp. Very nice and crisp. Easy to read. I love single column Bibles, so this this flows really well. You can see in here, there's all of these icons in the actual scriptural text. You see those in there? These little icons as you go. And I think that's pointing out to different key themes. So it's basically highlighting different verses. Now, if I jump back here, this is the kind of stuff I would normally do in a full review and kind of unpack this stuff, but I'm seeing this for the first time. So, okay the different realities. God is always at work around you. So that's what that arrow means, is that God is always at work around you. It's a reminder of that. The heart is saying, God pursues a continued loving relationship with you that is personal and real. So it's kind of connecting yourself to the text. That's really interesting. Um, it seems pretty consistent straight through, but I love the full color aspect of it, that it has, the, the text is in black ink, but um, the, the boxes and things like that Oh, cool, I didn't think about this. They, they said afterwards you get the conclusion. So there's ending judges going into Ruth. That's really cool. So kind of final thoughts and then an introduction to the next one. This is great. In the Psalms and the books of poetry here in Job, you have a more poetic type setting. So verse by verse poetic setting. So that really flows well. I like that. Very well designed. This one has like a couple of nicely colored, kind of matching. Look at those. A red and like a gold, orangish gold. Very fall themed. When we get to the New Testament, yep, red letter, as they said. And then you can see over here, see this right here, how the let, it's bolded? That's what the CSB does when they're quoting the Old Testament. They go to a bolded typeface. You have the regular red letter and then the bolded red letter. So it's Jesus quoting the Old Testament. It'll be a black letter bold when it's just regular paragraph, not Jesus speaking. This is great. So, okay, so, so Experiencing God, if you're not familiar, it's a very famous book So by the Black Bees. So Experiencing God, the book and the topic, and then kind of infusing some of that idea into a Bible that's been very clearly beautifully designed by, by 2K Denmark. you got full-color maps in the back and a concordance that's actually really easy to read. An index of all of the different, those icons that I showed you, there's an index of all of those, and then a topical index for different themes, which is really interesting, the God-focused themes. A few maps in here, and then you get a little note about Dr. Blackaby back there in the back. If you're looking for, this is cool, this is cool. I really love the design, so for me this was like, the look of it on those Facebook photos really caught my eye, and I and holding it in hand, I mean, look at how flat that lays straight out. Sometimes hardcover Bibles are the way to go, y'all. Like it just lays flat, big and open. You put this on on the kitchen table in the morning, 
read your scripture for the day with a cup of coffee and a Pop-Tart or whatever you have for breakfast and just let some of these prompts. I, I like stuff like this for me because I, I, right now I'm just reading through the Bible in a year and I'm, I don't have a lot of like devotional material by my side. And so it's really up to me and God. And that's a good way to do it, right? Particularly to start. But I like something like this to kind of prompt you with some thoughts along the way to really get you thinking about what you're reading. Um, and and if it's designed really well and it flows really well, this is the good thing about having a company like 2K Denmark design this Bible is that it's not going to be clunky, right? It's really going to give you um, the right places. They've, they've very clearly thought about this in a good way that's really going to shepherd your reading. I, didn't, I, I mentioned this at the very beginning. You also notice they got big wide margins out here. So if you wanted to answer those questions, sorry, hold that up so you can see it. Wide margins there and over there. If you wanted to answer those questions as you're reading, you have space to do this. And the paper feels great, looks great. That's really great. Okay, that's the Experiencing God Bible from Holman Bibles CSB. Looks really, really nice. If you have questions about this, drop those in the comments. If you want to check this out, I'll put some links in the video description to where you can purchase one of these or look them up on some websites, some different places where they're available out there. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram, and Facebook, we've got a great community on social media, having a lot of fun, so I'd love for you to join us there. And definitely before you go, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you are one of my subscribers, consider clicking the join button and becoming a member. I'm doing some exclusive content for members, some giveaways, some behind the scenes posts, things like that for people who wanna join and support the channel. Again, drop those comments if you have any. If you have any questions about this, let me know and I'll get back to you with an answer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.